welcome back to my channel today. It's been a really long time since I've done a food tutorial video and I think the last time I made chicken tikka masala and this time I'm going to make what is all the new rage which is the um, beef tacos burria. So that's spelled B-I-R-R-A and it's the tacos that are sauteed and then you have a consomme to dip them in as you eat them and they are delicious. So I'm going to show you the recipes and we'll get going with that. And I hope you follow along and enjoy this video. So for this recipe, you need two to two and a half pounds of chuck roast, four cups of beef broth. You need seven Wajilio chilies, two Pasija chilies, and four chili de arbro, five garlic cloves, four bay leaves, a half inch piece of cinnamon, you need eight cloves, one, teaspoon of, one tablespoon of salt, one teaspoon of whole peppercorn, a half a teaspoon of whole cumin, a half a teaspoon of thyme, and a fourth of a teaspoon of ground ginger. You also are going to need two tablespoons of white vinegar. And of course you'll need your corn tortillas, your Oaxacan or Monterey Jack cheese, some cilantro, and some raw onion. First, we're gonna start by cubing up and browning and searing our chuck roast. Once you have your chilies deseeded and destemmed, cover them in a pot with water and bring to a boil. Once these are brought to a boil, we can turn the heat off and transfer our chilies to our blender. I've added about two tablespoons of olive oil to my pan. And when it's good and hot, you can begin searing your meat. Make sure to brown your meat on all sides to get great caramelization. That is flavor in there. You want to get that flavor. Now that our chilies are all cooked down, we're going to go ahead and add our spices to the blender. Um, we're only going to add two of the bay leaves out of four. We're going to save two of them to put into the sauce once we pour it over the meat to cook. So you add all your spices, including your peppercorns and your cinnamon stick into the blender. And then we're going to add our chilies. This is gonna make a luxurious sauce to cook the meat in, plus our consomme to dip the tacos in when we're finished. To that, we're going to add three out of the four cups of our beef broth. Make sure we are saving a cup. Okay. And then from there, we're going to add our two tablespoons of vinegar. And we're gonna blend it all up until it turns into a nice sauce. Now, if your chilies are hot, you wanna make sure you hold on to the top because the heat can expand and make this top wanna come off. Here's our meat, all nice and browned on all sides for that great caramelization. Now I'm going to take the sauce that I had just blended in my blender and I'm going to strain it with a strainer into my meat just to make sure I have all the little bits and pieces out of my sauce. I want a really smooth sauce. If your blender is a really good powerful blender, you probably don't need to do this. Mine's decent, but I still want to make sure that it's a smooth sauce, so I'm going to go ahead and strain it into here. From 
now you can just kind of help it along. You get all that great flavor in this pot to cook this meat down. It's gonna be delicious. So let me get this all strained in here and then we're, we're going to cover it and simmer it for about two hours. I'm going to pour the remaining cup of broth into my blender, make sure I'm not losing any of that great flavor. Go swirl around. And you can see by straining that, how much of the pepper and um, residual bits that you will collect that you might not want in your sauce if you want a smooth sauce. So I'm just gonna pour in the rest of the broth right through the strainer to make sure we collect any of those extra yummy bits of flavor. Push all that sauce down in that strainer really nicely. Get out all the goodies. Okay. Now we're gonna put our lid on and we're gonna let it simmer for about two hours and it should shred apart like butter. And I almost forgot to add the other two bay leaves. So I'm gonna put those down in my sauce. So it has been two hours and I've taken my meat out and I just shredded it with two forks and I put the meat back into the broth consomme. So from this point, when I'm ready to assemble my tacos, I will skim off a little bit of this grease that's on the top and I will collect that into a bowl and I will put my corn tortillas down into that grease and put a little oil in the pan and I'll fry those tortillas on one side. And then as they get nice and bubbly and crisp, I'll flip it over and I will put in my Monterey Jack uh, cheese that's what I chose for this and then I will put some meat on top of that and fold the tacos in half and then get a cup of this consomme here to put on the side to dip your taco in so stay tuned so I'm going to skim off some of these the rendering at the top some of the fat let's kind of go around your pot and skim some of that off this is going to make great oil for your tortilla and it will flavor it up so much. Okay, that should be about right. Now that I've got my oil nice and hot in my skillet, I'm going to take the oil that I skimmed off the top of the meat and put my corn tortilla down in there and coat it on both sides. And then I'm just going to lift that out and put that right in the skillet. I'm going to let that kind of caramelize on the bottom side and then I'll flip it over and that's when I'll put in my meat and cheese. It's twisting up nicely. See that? I'm starting to blister. And flip it over. Put in your cheese, you can do Oaxacan, you can do Monterey Jack, which is what I'm doing today. I couldn't find the Oaxaca cheese at my local store. Let that melt down a little. Now we'll get some of our meat from our pan. And just kind of start building our taco.
And then we'll add a little bit of raw onion and some chopped cilantro. And we'll fold our taco over. Take it out, nice and crisp. Turn off my burner and let's give this a try so you can see. And we'll move my pot back over and I'll get some of that consomme juice. That's at the bottom of the pan. Stir it all up. Get some of that wonderful juice in there. And that's your consomme to dip your taco in. Okay, here we go. We have our delicious taco brilla. Gonna dip it into that consomme. Wow, that's fantastic. I can't even begin to tell you how good that is. And the smell has smelled at my whole kitchen. It is absolutely fantastic. You've got to try this recipe. If you do, please let me know how it turned out for you. Hit the like button and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And you have a great night. Get you some of these tacos, they're delicious.